It has been more than a month since that EF1 tornado swept through Cleveland's Fairfax neighborhood along Euclid Avenue, causing millions in damage to new life at Calvary Church. Ever since I have been reporting on the destruction. Where do you guys go from here? We're going to keep serving God. We're going to keep our faith. But also the congregation's determination. To get back on track. Y'all oh, yeah. heard that term rock bottom? Yeah. If you're a Christian, there is no rock bottom. Because you and God is I'm following through and went to Sunday morning service where Mayor Justin Bibb worshiped with members in the church's gym. As much of the 143-year-old building, including in sanctuary, remained closed off due to storm damage and continued environmental testing. I know that this church has been tested now more than ever, but I believe <clears throat> there is a special calling on this church right in the heart of our city. Friday, I reported on damage estimates totaling between six and six and a half million dollars, according to the church's contractor, Absolute Roofing and Construction. Needed a new roof on the fellowship hall, roof repairs on the sanctuary, stone replacement on the facade of the building, and other costly tasks, partly due to the building's age and being a historic landmark in the city. As mayor, are you able to help in any way? What, what can you offer? Well, uh, th there's a lot of resources out there uh, across uh, the country uh, to help churches, particularly who have uh, historic preservation opportunities to get financing and resources. Longtime member Cassandra Rogers told me the mayor's visit was uplifting. Gives us the strength to continue on, although it's going to be a hard road. I mean, we can maybe see the light at the end of the tunnel. The church has insurance, but is still looking at needing to spend at least $2 million out of pocket. It's sobering news for a church that is used to helping others through its ministry and community outreach programs. But Pastor Kelly Sullivan says they are building on faith one day at a time. We have a great story to tell as we rebuild bigger, better, and bolder than ever right here at New York Tiger. So God bless them. I look forward to worshiping here this Sunday morning. I appreciate you so much. Okay. Damon Maloney, News 5.